And I am sweating like a Catholic schoolgirl inside a confession booth. I am officially caught up for like the most part. Um, foundry is, I'm not a concrete worker, but man, that's not bad at all. Um, and that's got the gooey stuff in it. It didn't turn out as gooey as I wanted to. I'd have to add more bentonite clay to it, but I think it might work. Um, I think it really might work, but we're going to find out once I test fire this thing after it cures for a few days. Yeah, that's done. I'm waiting on the KO to come in for that. Um, I'm going to talk to y'all right here in a minute because Mr. Gunnell asked me to um, talk to him about how to put together a, uh, a uh, Lichtenberg device. Uh, that's done. I can't take you over there and show up because JT will see this and Denise will see this and they're not allowed to see that until they open it. So if y'all don't mind, give me a reaction video to that. All right. Uh, a, actually, a reaction video with your whole family present. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, I got some packages sent off. Jason Bateman, yours is coming. Big Dog, uh, I know you don't watch my channel, so if somebody could let him know that I do have a roll of uh, 303 stainless steel heading to him. Wire? I'm telling you, man, I have no clue where Jonah Frack is. No clue whatsoever. What'd you do, dude? Did you run her off? Huh? Huh? Did you try to try to make the move too quick? Is that what you did? Me mums that called me on the phone, so I had to take that. Uh, I had a very interesting conversation about some things. So, uh, you know, new enlightenment sort of things. Okay, so anyhow, uh, my only concern as far as using the betonite clay is betonite uh, clay, when it's fired, expands. Number one, it shrinks when it dries. Two, it expands when it's fired, and then it closes back down. So what I'm worried about is it open up cracks throughout this. That's why I was hesitant to use it in the mix anyhow. But somebody by the name of uh, Backyard Metal Melter, I think. I ran across his stuff. Somebody had mentioned that when I looked at it. He uses some uh, some clay in his stuff. He said you're going to use well durable mud, which is betonite clay. Um, but, you now we'll, we'll see how things go. All right, so on to the fractal burning machine. I have to excuse the mess in the background and whatnot. I am, um, like I said, I was trying to get caught up today. This here is just a basic uh, AC transformer. It's not a DC, it's an AC transformer. The charge comes through these windings. Now these windings are coated, so it actually runs through the wire around and around and around. It doesn't bleed through the side or anything like that. If it does bleed through the side, you get what you got up there. I don't know if you saw that earlier. Maybe you can back up the video and see where it's burnt. Anyhow, it winds around. It comes in the hot side, winds around, 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 around until it comes out the negative side to ground itself out. What that does is creates a um, electromagnetic field. That electromagnetic field then charges this secondary coil, which is a lot smaller windings, and there's a whole lot more of them, which will increase the voltage output. Not the amperage, just the voltage output. But this thing will still kill you in the blink of an eye. Okay, so on this secondary coil, let me turn it around. You have one single output, okay? You have one single wire coming out. It's not like this. So the ground for that, it's actually, and I don't know if I can find it on here. There it is right there. See, it is grounded off to the body of the transformer. So that is what you're going to use your grounding side to. Um, positive, powered. I'm going to try to go to the ground. That is what you will hook your um, your secondary wire up to for it to travel. Now, it does not hurt at all. It actually helps a little bit. If you have a three-prong, not a two-prong, but a three-prong, and a prong's, well, no. See, that one's got a third prong, a grounding prong, and have that third wire hooked to this. So, essentially, if you have... A white and a black or red and a white um, or whatever the case may be 
you'll have those two hooked up here. Your positive and neutral, your hot and neutral. Hook your ground to this. All right, and then you're going to hook off of this onto when you're doing your fractal burning. That's pretty much it. As far as capacitors, capacitors, you're going to come out of your hot side here into your capacitor and out of your capacitor onto whatever you're burning. Okay, this is just a bleed off resistor. Um, once you're done, you'll want to hook the positive, I mean, this to the negative or the negative cable and just set it on there and let it discharge itself. That way there's no large arc, there's no nothing. That's basically it in a nutshell. Now, I'm going to be building a resistance forge, I call it, in which I've already got one of these tore apart, but we're going to rewind this uh, transformer. I don't know if I have it in place. I've already got the copper wire. I can't find it. It's around here somewhere. I've got this place all junked up trying to get caught up. You see how small these windings are, these gauges? So we are going from that, which I don't know what a gauge or all that is, to this bad boy here. So what that will do, and I'll probably only get about two or three turns out of it, but that will increase the amperage and drop the voltage. Um, so I'm hoping to push about six to 800 amps with this two gauge, this 2 wire. So we will, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But that in a nutshell is basically all you do as far as your fractal burning machine. This side hooks into, plugs into your power. You see that's grounded off to the body. That hooks to one side of where you want to burn. This goes straight to the transformer secondary coil. Okay, this will go to um, the other side of where you want to burn. And it use baking soda and water works really well unless you can find something else because uh, baking soda tends to darken the tannins in certain woods. Um, poplar, oak, cherry, it does it real bad in cherry, um, but it will darken the tannin, so they give you a different color. And uh, once you get that done, you give it a light sanding, you're good to go. You are good to go. So nothing to it. There's nothing wrong with encasing this. There's nothing wrong with having the proper clips on these. You should. Makes it safer. If you're going to encase this, you need to have some type of fan blowing on it. This thing will overheat, and if it overheats, it will explode. It will explode. All right, so that is definitely something you need to be careful with. Do not live like I live on the wild side, on the dangerous side, testing God every day of whether I should be alive or not. This is a coil breakdown right here. And that's what happens. So this one can be tore down, and this one can be rewired as well. And I will probably do that with this. Uh, yeah, I'll probably turn this, try to turn that into a stick welder, small stick welder. There's the part that I took out of that other one. I just don't know where the I and E section is, and the I and E section is no more than this is the I section and this is the E section, and that's it. Oh, there it is. Puppy doggone. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, listen, uh, tired, man. I have been running hard, getting packages sent out and stuff like that, and Getting ready to get packages sent out. I need a two foot by one foot by about six inch box to send the Barrett family their stuff. <laughs> yep. Ooh, look at that ugly spider. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone because if I don't kill it, it'll jump on me and kill me. So I'm not taking that chance. Well, yeah, it's thundering and probably getting ready to rain. Um, so probably be getting a new phone this phone has given me a fit the past couple weeks uh, it doesn't hold charge worth of crap it wants to cut off at 15 percent um, certain things like GPS have they work for like 15 foot and then they lose GPS signal and then it'll gain it and then it'll lose it and then it'll gain it and then it freezes up and all kinds of ignorant stuff that ticks me off um, Oh, boy, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So once the foundry dries and stuff like that, we'll fire that off. We'll test that as an interior foundry like that, a, a hard foundry. I'll also throw them bricks in there and see how they do. And we'll continue on with the test and refractory. As far as the refractory, there is a new development. Now, I'll put a different video out on that, though. So, all right, well...
uh i will uh y'all guys have a good night man and um enjoy life enjoy that life is is short it is life is too short not to live twice at least twice all right so just remember that remember that so um love peace and chicken grease or as gordon told me the other day love peace and bacon grease because bacon everybody loves bacon i know all right laters